I just did the whole chicken rigmarole, and I'm on my way to my room. Have you seen the pool yet? Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, there's like palm trees and stuff. The whole place smells like chlorine. It's like I'm in Barbados or somewhere. <laughs> oh, here we are. Mi casa, junior suite. Hang on a second here. Figure out how this deal works. He's like a sneaking credit card. <laughs> an Afro-American man standing in my room. What's he doing? He's smiling at me. Hey, this is Al McGee at www.yeticket.com. This is your entertainment ticket. I'm a critic. And I criticize. Yeah, well, the movie I'm going to criticize today and talk about right now is called Cedar Rapids. Oh, wow. You know, actually, this is a very funny film. This film stars Ed Helms, you know, from The Office, John C. Riley. Hey, you know, funny man, funny man. Uh, Ann Hesch, she's beautiful. She's cute. And she can act. Isaiah Whitlock Jr., come on now. Come on now. You remember who he's from, who he is. This guy is funny, too, in this film. He's really good. And Sigourney Weaver, whew, beautiful, even though she's a little older now, you know, from the alien days, you know, things like that, gorillas in the mist, but she's still very good as an actress and still looks good. But what is this film about, which is directed by Miguel Arteta? You know, Miguel, he also directed Youth in Revolt. Hey, I enjoyed that film. A lot of people did not, but I really enjoyed it. The Good Girl. He also directed a lot of television episodes like Ugly Betty, Six Feet Under, you know, The Office. Look at that connection. You see that connection? All right. Well, Tim Lippy, which is played by Ed Helms, he's a 34-year-old bachelor. But he's making love to a particular person, his sixth grade teacher. And that's the only person he ever made love to in his life, his sixth grade teacher. No, he didn't make love to her while he was in his sixth grade when he became an adult and you know they really having a good time and he enjoys it and the sixth grade teachers played by Sigourney Weaver but now Lippy he's never been out of his hometown in fact the home he lives in is the home he was born in so he never did anything he's an insurance salesman and that's all he does he sells insurance Makes love to a sixth grade teacher, and that's it. In fact, that's the most deviant thing he, he's doing is making love to a sixth grade teacher. But now he has to go to this insurance convention in Cedar Rapids. That's where he meets, you know, John C. Riley and Ann Hesh and Isaiah Whitlock and, you know, other people there, which is, this has turned out to be funny. He meets this prostitute, she get him blasted, takes him to some hillbilly party. Oh, wait till you see that scene. That scene is funny. And of course, he gets, you know, with John C. Riley and Isaiah Whitlock. You know, when he first meet Isaiah, he was very uncomfortable with it. Oh, African American. But, you know, that cools down. And that was a funny scene, too. John C. Riley, oh, he's a nice guy in this film. He's not outrageously. Uh, like a clown, he's like a real human being. Look at him. He's like a little spider monkey. Let's go, Joe. Ha ha! Leaving him in the dust. Oh, oh. Reach it. Timbo, you got a death wish, pal? Because you're about roughly 20 feet off the ground right now. Take a look. Uh oh. Tim? Oh, God, Tim, are you okay? Give me a second. <laughs> well? Okay, we're going to be fine. I think we better get him. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Why did you do it if you're going to freak out? Tim, I got you. Trust me. Just give me your hand, bro. Lean back. I don't trust people with ponytails. Come on, man. Give me your hand. Let's do this. I'm not extreme like you. <laughs> In fact, that's why I enjoyed this film. These are real human beings. These are not clowns or, or, or people who are t totally outrageous. And, you know, they are not, uh, I didn't really see any little, 
you know, fart jokes and things like that, body fluid jokes, except for one. And this is a good film. In fact, I was rooting for John Lippy to win the situation that he was in. The situation was he did not understand people. He didn't know how the world works because he was in his own little envelope all his life. Like I say, he's never been on a plane before until he went to see the Rapids. He'd never been out of town. When he got to the rental car place, he got excited about a small little Chevy that he rented. He was excited, and it was red. Come on. <laughs> that, that was funny. See, the Rapids is a great film about real human beings, about real people, uh, three-dimensional characters, and the cast is what I really enjoyed. They, this is a great cast that they put together. They did some great ensemble work, and they really worked well with each other. Cedar Rapids was a good film. I'm giving this an A minus. Yeah, greater A minus. And you know, when it gets to your town, whatever it gets to, go see this film. This is one of the real films I've seen this year. You know, I've been seeing some other films that really haven't been that good this year so far. But this is a very good film, Cedar Rapids. Hey, I'm very good because I'm Al McGee. Keep getting us at www.yeticket.com, your entertainment ticket. Keep watching us every day and the day after. You know, I never wanted to go to see the Rapids though in real life. Was there. But after I saw this, who knows? See the Rapids, the movie. Watch it. We're just getting to know you, bro. Hey, wait, Come wait here. up for me, wait. Yeah. 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 What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Get back here. Who are you? My friends with that dude. Your friends with Timbo? Yes. Yeah. I'm his best friend. Get in there. Yeah. Move. Get it, Ranimal. Are you guys? Because she's like, he's my friend. I was like, yeah, he's my friend. Get in the van. What are we doing here? Yeah, Timbo, what the hell happened back there? I don't there? know. I was on the floor getting kicked, and then I looked up, and Ronald was like talking like a ghetto person. He was. I don't like to brag, but I do a pretty convincing Omar from the HBO program, The Wire. At least those crackers back yonder seem to buy it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, crackers. I That's exactly it. like they said, Ronald. Put them up. Classic Ronald. Watch this guy. He's got